Hello and welcome to this, the latest in a series of Limcasts exploring the multifaceted and ever-changing world of home audio. My name's Joe and I am, you'll be pleased to hear, joined by the now world-famous Gordon Inch. Buongiorno! <laughs> and today we're going to discuss all things surround sound. Over the next short while we're aiming to convince you just why you need surround sound in your life and we'll touch upon some of the many various ways in which you can achieve the best Lin quality sound from our range of surround sound products and upgrades. Firstly though, because context is never a bad thing and you are all audio enthusiasts like we are, I'm going to conduct a brief history lesson. As far as we know, the first use of surround sound was implemented by none other than Walt Disney. During development of his studio's animated film Fantasia in 1940, he became inspired by Rimsky-Korsakov's musical piece Flight of the Bumblebee. He thought it would be really amazing to, using a whole array of loudspeakers, emulate the sound of a bumblebee buzzing around the movie theatre for his audience's amusement and amazement. Disney ran with this idea and subsequently this multi-channel audio application became known as Fantasound. And that's not to be confused with the sound of opening a can of carbonated orange soda. <laughs> uh, Fantasound incorporated approximately 54 loudspeakers. 54. And it was controlled by a live engineer. Uh, or, well, of course he was alive, but he was controlled live by an engineer. <laughs> um, and it managed to diffuse the movie's soundtrack throughout the whole cinema. It was not, however, the runaway success that Disney had hoped for, and the concept fizzled out through the 1940s. It wasn't until 12 years after Fantasia in 1952 that surround sound was successfully deployed again in a theatre release for the movie This is Cinerama. The film was produced by the aptly named Cinerama Productions, and this time around the soundtrack was mixed for seven discrete audio channels. This proved to be the starter's gun in the race to develop ever more sophisticated surround experiences for movie theatres across the globe. Fast forward 26 years to 1978 and a certain Max Bell working for Dolby Laboratories hit upon something rather special, which came to be known as Split Surround. His concept premiered with the blockbuster Superman movie starring the late Christopher Reeve in the title role. It was, in the end, nominated for three Oscars, two of which were for Best Music and for Best Sound. The movie was groundbreaking in its use of visual special effects also, and so for this multi-pronged advancement of the cinema experience, it has earned its rightful place in history. Movie makers were now achieving a level of audience immersion which turned heads and dropped jaws. The visceral and emotional engagement felt by moviegoers was revolutionized forever. And now, we jump ahead to the year of my birth, 1987. Oh, you're just a child. <laughs> so, in 1987, we see the first iteration of the now commonplace 5.1 surround sound platform, which was bizarrely making its debut in the Moulin Rouge Cabaret in Paris, in France. French engineer Dominic Bertrand, and I apologise if I pronounced that incorrectly, uh, made use of a purpose-built mixing desk which he co-designed with the studio hardware company Solid State Logic. And with it, he gave the world the surround sound setup uh, ubiquitous in home theatres today, comprising the channels left, right, centre, surround left, surround right and bass. In the intervening years between then and now, Surround sound in your home has been either prohibitively expensive for most or just poor quality with tinny throw-in speakers. As such, for most conventional homes it has been largely ignored or just uh, dismissed as a gimmick which wouldn't add any value to the home movie experience. These days, however, due to significant advances by your favourite audio manufacturers. Achieving sublime quality surround sound in your living room has never been easier and is within reach of most people. With straightforward one-box solutions like Lynn's Select DSM, more of which later, uh, surround sound is now within reach of the average customer. But first, let's address why you may very well need surround sound in your life. There's clearly a wealth of hi-fi music, 4K video streaming, Blu-ray movies, 
concerts and on-demand content available in 2020. Why not unleash the full potential that consumer technology allows by appreciating every minute detail and feeling each sonic moment? Surround sound is designed to create a sound stage or field in front of you, to each side and or behind you. It can also in some cases emulate a sound above you. There's the fantastic horror flick The Others, featuring Nicole Kidman, uh, it notably features footsteps coming from the empty room upstairs. There's rustling jungle undergrowth approaching from left and right reveal a pair of velociraptors working in tandem to bring Muldoon to painful justice in 1992's Jurassic Park. Clever girl. A clever girl. <laughs> The sensation of sound coming from all around is a signifier of truly convincing home AV experiences. The subtle crack of a twig behind you, an arrow loosed over your left shoulder, a fast combat jet screaming across the screen. These effects need to be conveyed with accurate spatial imaging to highlight both what is happening off screen and in the environment around you. You'll certainly need to hear the xenomorphs hissing mandibles behind you to know when to cover your eyes but sometimes it is in fact more subtle, but no less immersive. In a rom-com or a drama, you won't have the bombast of explosions or car chases or gunshots, but the inclusion of varied birdsong and a distant primary school playground can make all the difference to feeling like you're actually part of the movie. And by extension, you're more involved and invested in the plot and the characters. Unsurprisingly, Placing good quality loudspeakers around you is vastly more effective than any soundbar gimmick or tinny, poorly designed speakers on the market. The potential for head-turning experiences is greater than ever when using bona fide hi-fi loudspeakers in their place. And when you have a Lin specialist tune deming each speaker in your chosen setup to find its ideal position in your room, and even then applying Lin space optimization on top, it's really quite difficult to imagine movies, concerts, and video games sounding any better. So what specifically might a surround setup do for you to elevate it above a traditional stereo system? When a screen is taking up all or most of your field of vision, sound should feel like it's coming from specific points in front of you and not just directly at you. A high performance array of speakers coming from a superior source and decoder are more adept at pinpoint accurate imaging and general spaciousness in the soundstage compared to uh, an all-in-one soundbar and certainly are more adept than the dreaded TV speakers. But there's more. Nobody ever wants to ruin the ambience by asking, what did they just say? Clarity of the human voice is of course instrumental in our enjoyment of movies, TV shows and video games. Having access to a dedicated center channel to render dialogue and vocals with crispness and musicality reveals the full meaning, emotion and impact of every word uttered. The fact is that up to 70% of all full range audio content runs through the center channel at any given time. So investing in a capable, formidable center channel speaker like our Magic 112 will pay dividends its mission critical job of anchoring the front stage between the primary front left and front right speakers makes all the difference. Now let's talk bass. Thunderous, apocalyptic bass. We can understand why some folk like to reinforce their home stereo system's bass reach by adding a subwoofer. But when it comes to surround sound, a subwoofer is downright necessary. This is because a subwoofer is not just wrestling with the really, really low frequencies that your soundbar or satellite speakers perhaps can't handle. It's also responsible for playing back a special LFE or low frequency effects channel, which is in fact the 0.1 in a 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound mix. That's what it signifies. By harnessing the subwoofer's oomph and letting it do what it does best, uh, being fed and then reproducing earth-shaking bottom-end information. This can help lighten the load on your other speakers so that the overall resultant sound picture is tight and controlled, uh, crisp and clean. It has 
breathing space and atmosphere. And now my glamorous assistant Gordon will take over to show you some of the innovative ways in which our engineers have provided you with a route to achieving surround sound at home in the epic Lin quality that you seek. So now we know why we need surround sound in our homes. How do we actually do it? Well, you can create your own Lin cinema experience in one of two ways. Firstly, you can create a very powerful one-box surround system by utilising Lin's configurable uh, Select DSM fitted with the available surround sound upgrade package. Or you can uh, upgrade a compatible Acura or Climax DSM or system hub with the surround processing module package and adding a Lin exact box into the system. Let's look at Select DSM first. Here we have Lin's flexible and configurable Select DSM and also the full surround sound upgrade package. We'll start by removing the outer sleeve, the line out cartridge, the blanking plates and the smaller power supply. In their place, your Lin retailer will fit the HDMI upgrade board, the surround processing module, a large power supply, two stereo amplifier cartridges plus their DACs, and one centre channel sub-out cartridge and DAC. And voila! A one-box, fully amplified, 5.1 capable surround system. All you have to do is add speakers. And if you add in a further two of Lin's integrated exact Lin speakers, this setup can be expanded to 7.1 surround. The second option is to upgrade a compatible Accurate or Climax DSM or System Hub. So let's explore how this is done using an Accurate DSM. Firstly, we'll remove the outer sleeve, which will expose the HDMI 2.0 circuit board. After we fit the surround processing module, we can refit the sleeve. Now we can connect the freshly upgraded DSM or system hub to one of Lin's flexible exact box range. Your local Lin specialist will upgrade your DSM and reconfigure your exact box in order to create a package that precisely fits your needs. They will then tune the system, ensuring that you sit right in the middle of your favorite Hollywood blockbuster, or let you listen to your favorite two-channel stereo music being played through all the speakers in your system. There is a huge range of options available to create up to a maximum of 7.2 surround, and your Lin specialist will help you find the setup that's perfect for you. So, we've discussed what surround sound actually is, how much of an impact it can have on viewing experiences, and also explained a little about how you can go about achieving it at home. But why should you invest in a superior quality surround sound setup for your own home cinema? It's all too easy to fall into the trap of prioritising picture quality over anything else, and to splash cash on the latest 8K HDR ultra high frame rate panel and to consider the audio to be secondary to that, almost just complementary to the video experience. The fact is that a movie lives or dies by its soundtrack. Several studies have shown that if the audio quality of the video is of medium to marginal quality, then no matter how good the picture quality turns out, viewers are more likely to react negatively to the video content as a whole. Human voices, music and sound effects make up the audio portion of a movie, usually. Sounds and dialogue must match perfectly with the actions of a film without delay and must sound the way that they look. If a sound doesn't quite match the action on screen, the action itself isn't nearly as believable. Another element that surround sound adds to this experience to make a film more immersive is its incorporation of what's known as asynchronous sound effects. Often in the form of background sounds, these sounds don't directly correlate to the action in a scene, but they can bring life to a film when heard coming from a satellite speaker in a surround system. 
Asynchronous sound effects can include sounds like a, a city street, a coffee shop or a jungle and can help to make a film's setting more realistic and to suck the audience right into a scene to the point where they can almost smell it. Iconic film scores are just as much a part of what makes a movie successful as the director or the screenwriter. Think Star Wars, Jaws, uh, The Exorcist, etc. The list goes on. They wouldn't be the same movies without those evocative soundtracks. We've all made the jump to HD 4 or 8K from standard definition without question. And I'm personally sure I couldn't go back to DVDs or even VHS and I'm willing to bet that you're the same. Why not give the same upgrade treatment to your audio setup to bring movies to life in the way the producers intended as a whole? During these persistently solitude-filled times when people are spending a substantial portion of their time at home and most if not all cinemas and theatres are closed, why not bring the cinema to you? The cinema is dead. Long live cinema! Joe and I produced our first Lincast way back in April this year. I think we all expected to be getting back to some kind of normal by now, but we're not quite there yet. So if, like Joe and I, you're a lover of the silver screen, missing out on that cinema experience is yet another difficult aspect of lockdown. But with a Lynn surround system, cinema can be alive and well and in your own living room. Not only that, but you'll still be enjoying all your favourite stereo music and outstanding Lynn quality as you've come to expect. There's never been a better time to have your cake and eat it. With a promotion of 20% off certain surround sound products in our range, terms and conditions apply. Please have a conversation with your Lynn specialist to find out what is the best setup for your unique needs. And to celebrate this promotion, we have compiled a playlist on Spotify, Tidal and Cobas of some of our all-time favourite music from cinema, TV and video games. Look out for a link to this on our official Facebook and Twitter channels now. And for bonus points, see if you can correctly identify which movie, TV show or game each track features in. Some, of course, are right there in the title, uh, but others are a little bit less obvious. Answers on a postcard to... We're not going to do that, we're not. <laughs> um, but honestly, we really hope that you enjoy reliving some iconic scenes with the playlist. We look forward to seeing you again for the next Limcast, but for now, it's goodbye from Gordon. Ta-da. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>